Welcome to the live show on the internet. Urban, Dr. Yeah. We got a wild and crazy show for you tonight. Yes, we do. We're going to jump right into it. Young and age. You big dummy. You got to be because you just told the whole world you told them to do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Say it ain't so. I don't want to hear you say a bitch done police you, a bitch done told on you, a bitch done snitched on you. No, nigga. You snitched on your own self. <laughs> oh, my God. Where they do that at? Jacksonville. You niggas gangsters up there. I know y'all don't niggas don't do shit like this here, man. Y'all done took that drill shit too far. I guess what Tupac said back in the days is true. Revenge is the sweetest thing to get in pussy. <laughs> oh my God, cause this nigga couldn't wait to get that revenge. Well, oh my God, young and age. I'm so serious. But you know you done fucked up, right, young and age? You know you done fucked up, man, because guess what? They using y'all lyrics right now to send you niggas to prison. And guess what? This video that you did, this this record, this this video, Gonna send your motherfucking ass to prison. I ain't wishing bad on nobody, but I'm just telling you the truth. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. If they use this shit here, you going to prison, nigga. Because guess what? You told on on your own self. You told on your own self in this whole video. This song, you told them. You said, I told them to do it. I told them to do it. Yeah, so that's like you did murder for hire, bitch. Yeah, they can hit you with that shit there. Oh my God, say it ain't so. They can hit you for that shit though. One thing about it, I do not promote black on black crime, but what I do promote is, it's a righteous act to give recompense to those who trouble you. Meaning, if a bitch slap you, you can slap them back or do what the fuck you wanna do to them. If a bitch breaking your house, you can break in their house or you can do what the fuck you wanna do to them. So forth and so on. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm not promoting no black on black crime. This shit go for anybody, man. It's a righteous act to give recompense to those who trouble you. If somebody do something to you, yeah, you gotta get your lit back. And a bitch can't tell you how you supposed to get your lit back. A bitch cannot tell you you don't went too far getting your lit back. What kind of shit that is? You mean to tell me that a bitch can slap me in my face and I'm supposed to turn the other cheek like Martin Luther King? Fuck that shit. No, I ain't turning no cheek, nigga. No, I ain't turning no cheek. I'm finna get off. I'm finna get off. By the end of the day, man, we don't want to celebrate no lives lost, man. The rap game has turned into a, 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 a drill session, man. These people just going around shooting them up. Bang, bang, man. People really losing their life out here, man. You understand what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, Julio Fulio stood on whatever he stood on and he believed whatever he believed in. And whatever he stood on and believed in got him in the cemetery, as you can see. You understand me? Because uh, Young and Ace had to go through something similar to what Julio Fulio just went through. But the only difference is Young and Ace survived the situation, but everybody else around him died. You see what I'm saying? So. The karma came back to Julio Fulio the same way. It came back to him the same exact way. I'm trying to figure out how the hell did you line up this this song and the video at the same time. Like, I mean, when you watch the video, you will see what I'm saying. Like Julio Fulio ended up getting killed at the hotel. As you can see in the video, it's a scene in the video where they're in front of some hotel rooms and they end up looking like they were trying to rob somebody, but they end up shooting them. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out how the hell did you know to play it out like that, though, when this shit right here took place. That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's the creepy part about this whole situation. Is the record company involved in this? Is the record company involved in this? Who's really pushing this agenda? How did they line this story up right along with the video. The video came out hours later. Hours later. Hours later, the video came out. Young and age, your fans trying to figure out, man, did you do the video right when this shit happened? And, and put it out there, or you been had this plan and you were just waiting to put it out there? We need to know, man. We need to know right now, man, because guess what? One thing about it, y'all went to the wrong city in Florida. Yeah, y'all went to the wrong city in Florida to pull that shit off. Yeah, somebody should have told you not to come to Tampa with that bullshit because Tampa got every law enforcement agency 
in the city. They got everything from the city police to the feds in Tampa. You understand me? And right where that shit took place at on Fowler Street, the police station is uh a half a block away on the other side on Bush, right across the street from Bush Gardens. It's a police station sitting right there, man. It's a police precinct. It's the city police at that. And the feds is right down the road from that shit there, not even 10, 15 minutes away. So, yeah, man, um, I hope y'all niggas done, done, done dotted y'all I's and crossed y'all T's and y'all know what y'all was doing, man, because them people going to be on your ass, boy. There's so many cameras in Tampa. You understand me? There's so many motherfuckers that 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 they going to put you on camera and everything. They asking everybody. Man, listen. When they when they wrote that that hotel off, man, they went door to door and interviewed everybody that was at that hotel room. Somebody seen something. Somebody seen something. Because there ain't no normal hotel room. Uh uh they they ain't no normal hotel. That holiday inn, nah, that shit ain't normal. That holiday inn is like a motel six. Ain't nothing but Molly heads, bitches selling dope, and bitches selling pussy at that hotel. Yeah, so get what? Everybody be up walking around. You ain't finna do nothing and the bitch ain't gonna see it. You ain't gonna do nothing and the bitch ain't gonna see it. It's somebody out there that seen it. It be homeless people all around us sleeping in the bushes and everything, man. Somebody seen exactly what happened. And they told the police everything. And then you come out with a video. You not knowing because you not in Tampa. You don't know how Tampa operating. You come out with that video and drop that video talking about I told them to do it. You told on yourself, like, who the fuck really do that? Like, people can speculate that you had something to do with it, but you wanted the bitch to actually know you had something to do with it. What the fuck? What the fuck really going on? You really wanted the bitch to know that you had something to do with that, bro. Bitch was going all, young and age, a bitch was already going to speculate that you had something to do with this shit already, bro. You didn't even have to drop no, no song, this song. You could have waited until after the funeral and everything to drop that this song, bro. You dropped that bitch. Why the people was out there still investigating, bro? That's what I don't understand about you niggas, man. You niggas be like doing some dumb shit, man, all the time, bro. Like, the worst thing these folks could have did was gave you niggas money, bro, because money changes you niggas, man. I don't want to hear that shit talking about, man, I don't have money, money don't change. Man, money changes niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck what type of nigga you is, man. Money going to change you, bro. It's going to change you, man. It's going to change you. And depending on what kind of character you are, what, depending on your character, it's going it, 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 gonna, it's gonna to change you for the good or it's going to change you for the worse. You got to listen to the lyrics that Younger Ace was putting down. He said, I don't call them body slams. I call them little do-its. Bitches hit my phone with the low. I tell them to do it. He with his baby, do it. He with his bitch. Do it. He with his mama. Do it. All this money make a nigga do it. Yeah. Oh my God. Say it ain't so. He even said it himself. All this money make a nigga do it. Make a nigga heart turn cold. When he got pressure on the street with somebody, instead of him talking or not, instead of him boxing or not, or whatever they got to do, they going to shoot it out. Because money make him do it. That's what's coming out of his mouth. So imagine them playing this shit in the courtroom. Say they don't even find who did it. They can use this and prosecute and use this against him. Because he admitted to everything that went down at the Holiday Inn in his video. He, he admitted to all of that. He telling them, I told him to do it. So, you, you like I say, man, you going to have to lawyer up, man. You going to have to, man, listen. All I can say, you better pray and hope that these folks ain't get a hold to this video. You pray, pray and hope Julio Fulio, a girlfriend, don't turn the video in to the police. If I was you, I'd delete the motherfucking video, man. You see what I'm saying? I'd delete that bitch, bro. Like I said, I got to get to you. Now, that's the hardest this record slash video I ever seen in my life. I got to get to you. That shit, that was all the way G. That shit was all the way gangster. I'm talking about that shit, and it sound good, bro. That's the that's the thing. That's the scary part about it. It sound good, dog. It sound good. You see what I'm saying? Like I say, I do not promote black on black crime. I do not promote that. 
This is not the channel for that. By the end of the day, this is the channel we're going to keep it all the way 100. If you do something out here to somebody and you call somebody the wrong way, you got to expect for something to happen to you. If you believe in karma, that's exactly what that is. If you try to kill somebody on their birthday and you trying to assassinate everybody who they're around, the same thing going to happen to you. You ain't going to know when it's going to take place. But the same thing is going to happen to you. That is called karma. So you can't sit up here, if you believe in karma, you can't sit up there and say, they shouldn't have did him like that, or they shouldn't have did this. Come on, man, you can't scratch the fence. You got to pick one side and stay on it. You believe the karma and respect the karma, or you against the karma and you don't believe the karma? Because everybody else can't get karma, and, and you don't get it either now. That shit don't work like that. Everybody got to go through that. And that's why I want you niggas to know I chill. When you go out there and want to rob somebody, that shit finna come back to you. You want to go out there and kill somebody and brag about it and rap about it? That's exactly what's finna happen to you. As you can see, this is a prime example. This ain't nothing somebody just making up. This ain't nothing that a nigga just talking and trying to preach to you, none of that. This is actual, factual. This shit went down yesterday. In the worst way, on his birthday, they blew out his candle. On his birthday, they blew out his candle. He didn't have to blow him out. They blew him out for him. Young and age, I'm going to say this again. The part of town for that shit went down at, somebody done said something. Somebody done said something, and somebody done seen something. It's a lot of money in Tampa. It's a lot of money that come through Tampa. It's a lot of millionaires, billionaires, famous, rich people that live in Tampa. These people is not going for that type of shit in Tampa. Them people ain't want this type of publicity in their city. Tampa ain't want TMZ at they, in, in their city on the behalf of such as this. No, man. No, they ain't want that, man. So like I say, bro, y'all got a y'all got a lot of answers. Y'all got a lot of questions to answer, boy. And you gonna have to bring you you gonna have to bring it correctly. But believe me, I bet you them officials from Tampa up in Jacksonville right now, going door to door to whoever uh, Julio Fulio had issues with. And like I say, young and ace, you don't drop this video. And this video got a lot of evidence in the lyrics. Even how the acting was going on in the video played a significant part on how the shit really went down in real life. You won't have to answer that. You won't have to answer that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know what y'all think about Young and Age celebrating his get back on Julio Fulio. Do y'all think Young and Age going to get picked up and charged with his murder? Let me know what's going on in the comments. With that being said, if you smell some stink, that's me, Urban Gossip TV. So we the shit. <laughs>